Welcome, everyone, to our first episode of SGA Live uh, for the 2020-2021 semester. Uh, we're very excited to uh, be here with you today in this space. Today's SGA Live is called Meet the SGA, and uh, we're trying something, something new here. Um, this is our virtual engagement with our community. So as Gutman and many other colleges begin their academic semester, what we're finding is that uh, we're all doing it virtually or remotely uh, through many of the different uh, electronic meeting applications um, uh, uh, available to us. And so this one is coming to you through the Zoom chat. Last year, we did it through our Blackboard because uh, it was exclusively for our student community. But what we found is that sometimes parents, um, loved ones, relatives want to join in and, and see what their students are up to. And um, so this is an opportunity to do that. We're also, for the first time, broadcasting on the uh, SGA Instagram account. And so my hope is that uh, whether you come through us through Zoom or you come through us through the uh, SGA Instagram, that you're coming to us at all because this is going to be the place and the space where you, the student, gets to interact with your student leaders. Uh, and so every other Tuesday at 11.30 a.m., we'll be in the space, and the first half of our time is going to be with a member of the SGA speaking to you about a topic of interest, and then the second half of the show is going to be them answering questions from the community and getting to know our new students and our returning students. So um, the other thing that I'm gonna do in terms of housekeeping, and I'm gonna put it in the chat, is that if you could, please make sure you point your browsers to gutman.cuny.edu slash events. Uh, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna take you to a web page that advertises all of the different events that CUNY Gutman has to offer. Uh, I apologize for the crying baby in the background, but that is work from home life right now. Um, that being said, housekeeping is done. We've got about 11 of us in this space, and I want to make sure that I give all of the time uh, to our students. And so, uh, what I'm going to do is introduce you to the members of the Student Government Association uh, by position and allow them to uh, speak a little bit about their experience of Gutman, speak a little bit about why they joined the SGA, and hopefully encourage you to uh, be a member of our proud organization. Quick shout outs to my coworker and colleague, Latoya Jackson. Uh, who is the admin on our pages for the most part. So she's going to be answering your questions in the chat um, and, and also reaching out to you uh, for some information. Um, and so pay attention. Anytime uh, her email shows up in your inbox because she probably has important things for you to, to know. That being said, uh, we'll start the introductions with our president, of the Student Government Association. And this year, that honor falls to Jerrain Nieves. Uh, Jerrain, are you with us in the chat? Uh, yeah, no. I don't think I'm with you in the chat, but I'm No, you're, not. you're with us. You're here. That, this, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 you're here. So I thought you meant like physically chatting. No. <laughs> <laughs> so Jerrain, uh, great to have you on the, on the first episode of SGA Live. And, and please, uh, introduce yourself to the community and, and say what's up to the people. Um, well, I'm really happy. I'm really happy to be here. Um, but yeah, so my first year, I'm an urban studies major. Um, my first year at Gutman was, I actually really liked it. I actually miss really going to campus and spending time with everybody because it has a really great sense of community. And um, like, I'm really personally grateful for that because I started attending college and getting the mindset of like, okay, I'm here to do work and go home. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to work. Cause that's always been the mindset I've had for um, education and stuff. Cause I'm, I, you know, but I, 
I got to know a lot of my classmates and I was very happy and a lot of my professors, they were amazing. I'm very grateful to have the experience I did. Um, and in a way, it's a shame we have like online learning, but I understand why we have it. So you always have to keep that important. And I encourage students, go to these spaces, go to the spaces we provide because you will meet somebody and it'll be so great. You guys can meet up in person, social distancing, but you can meet up in person and it'll be, it'll be great. And I definitely, you know, recommend, um, yeah. So I don't know, it's just one of those things where it's like, I'm really, I'm really happy that I chose this school to, to, yeah. Awesome. And so, Jermaine, why don't we tell the community a little bit about yourself uh, in terms of, uh, you know, where, where you come from, uh, why you chose urban studies, uh, you know, and you always talk about easy. So maybe, maybe make a little shout out to, to our boy. Yes, um, Easy is right over here. He's in his little bed. Easy. Okay, well, he's napping. Um, but he is my seeing eye dog because I am, I am blind. Uh, so he's great. He's been a great help. Um, some other things about me is I love fashion design. Uh, I didn't choose that as a career path because I personally um, crack under pressure. So I didn't see myself, you know, you know, certain deadlines for certain things. It's a lot of pressure. I personally picked urban studies because it has a lot of reading and writing, which is something I'm personally really good at. Terrible at math, not great at certain sciences. Um, so I thought this fit me best. And my personal career path is I want to go into law and do public slash motivational speaking. So this will help me get into that pathway. It'll carve the way and help me get a better grasp of the people around me. And like, I feel like that's a big part of urban studies. You get to study people and types of people in community and you get a better idea and thought of where people really come from and how their mindset works on certain things. And that helps a lot um, simply with just getting to know people. And, you know, if I, if when I do, you know, become a lawyer, I can use that in a way to my advantage. Um, so that's a really big reason why I picked urban studies. Um, but yeah. Very cool. Very cool. And and maybe um, give us just like, what do you think is your biggest goal uh, coming out of, of the SGA? Like what, what do you want to uh, uh, ensure happens during your time here as president? Um, I want to network as much as possible. And I would like to get an internship at a law firm for next this summer coming up uh summer 2021 so that's something that is like on my my little before i did graduate bucket list um so yeah that's one of like the bigger things that i really have in mind but i definitely want to network as much as i can because there's nothing wrong with networking even if you feel like oh this has nothing to do with what i want to do network with that person anyway because you never know where it could lead to and you never know like maybe you have a friend that's interested in said thing and you're just like, oh, hey, I know somebody. Let me get you in contact with that person. So I feel like networking is also really important. And um, yeah, so I tend to, that's where my mindset usually goes. And I also want to understand the students and like where they come from. And I want more people to come to me for help. I feel like that's another big thing because I will do everything in my power to help them with whatever they need um, as far as I can. So that's another thing that I also joined the SGA for. I like to help people. So, yeah. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you, Jerrine. And uh, you can stick around so that at the end of this, we can uh, answer questions from the community. Yes. Uh, up next is Don Miguel Tejeda. Miguel, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right. So the same thing, Miguel. Tell us a little bit about you, a little bit about why you joined SGA and uh, what is it you hope to do? So I just say my name is Miguel Tejeda. I am from the Dominican Republic. I am the vice president for the Student Government Association. I enjoy the SGA because um, I always been a leader. Since I was in high school, I was a member of the student government. So I wanted to continue my legacy at uh, government and my passion to help other people. So that helped me to be part of the ACA. 
And what was the other question? I can you can you hear me? I said just a little bit about what you want your goal to be this year. Hello? Hello. Oh yeah, I can hear you. Okay. What was the other question? Your your goal for this year, Miguel's personal goal. So my goal for this year is to um finish um this semester with a A plus in all my classes, um complete my internship successfully. Um and goal for that I have for the SDA is to be like um getting more students who knows about the SDA and get them to get involved in the um college campus life. And all all really, really good things. Um, I definitely like the part about getting the A plus in all your classes. That's something that we want to make sure all of our students are academically strong. Um, because the lesson that, that that teaches is you will then have options about the uh, over the rest of your uh, college career when you perform to the best. Uh, you get to decide what you want to do as opposed to having other people tell you what you need to do. So we wish you luck. And uh, yeah, like you said, we want people to, to come be a part of this organization and, and partner with us. Um, up next is going to be, and so thank you, Miguel. Um, up next is our secretary. So Naomi, are you there? I see you smiling. Hey, what's up? So it's uh, name, major, and my goals, right? Yes. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, so my name is Nina Barrera. I am a second year here at Gutman. Um, and my major here at Gutman is business administration. Um, I hope one day in the future to do human resource management. So that's one of my goals. But right now, my goals for the school is uh, trying to boost morale for the students. I know that while we move to a virtual learning, it could be it can be very unmotivating and so I want to try to make sure that students feel like they're supported that they feel like that they have someone there if they need it and I kind of want to just make students be like you know come come here come to the SGA we got your back join us whatever you want you need any questions answered we got you so my main goal really is to help the students here and like Miguel make sure I get all A's in my classes so thank you very much guys Oh, I'm also from Queens and Latinx, Puerto Rican, Argentinian, line. Thank you. Very cool. Thank you for that, Naomi. Uh, keeping the theme going and the energy, hopefully we've got Renan Barsha, who is our treasurer. Renan, are you here? Yep. All right, Renan, talk to the people. Let them know a little bit about you, what you plan on doing, uh, where you're repping, and all your goals. Go. All right, well, my name is Renan Barsha. I am Ecuadorian Brazilian. Uh, my major is business administration. And hope I hope uh, to one day be an actuary. It's basically just people who create the algorithm for things like car insurance, like to, how do I describe it? It's a bit difficult to describe, but what I, the field I wanna go to in actuarial science is climate actuary, because I know that's, especially with the California fires, that's. A major thing right now and i feel like i can help most people in that like not just stopping like prevent, mitigating climate change but also like how it affects minority neighborhoods and also third world countries like there was a drought i'm not, I'm not gonna get into it but like it's it, it affects many people and not just uh the major ways that are pretty obvious uh what else i was uh the captain of the soccer eh, the captain of the soccer team uh when that was available that of course don't happen. Uh, what's left? My goals for this semester, and of course next year, uh, next next semester, are mainly just to uh, again pass my class, pass all my classes with A's. Um, mainly center myself around, exact like hone in on if I want to actually be an actuary. Um, understand the majority of the steps that I would need to take. Hopefully get one of the actuarial quizzes done because I believe there's seven of them and they're pretty expensive. So I would like to get those out of the way what 
while I'm still uh, living with my parents and not paying that much for tuition. And also to work on my clubs to the best of my ability. So SGA, uh, PTK, I'm also having an art internship. So hopefully I, well, I understand all those well enough to be like a genuinely useful person in there. So <laughs> what I love about that the most, Renan, is that that was a very specific goal uh, in terms of your, your, your career uh, aspirations, uh, actuarial science. Uh, that's not something that many people uh, speak about, um, but it does exist. And one of the things that um, many students come to school with a, a vague notion of what they want to do uh or in some cases being told this is what you're going to become uh after you go, come out of college uh, but there's a wonderful opportunity for for you right now to 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 change that and and branch off in a million directions and so this is just the first step in figuring out what kind of impact you want to make upon the world uh through the work that you're going to do uh and so it's awesome that like specifically for you actuarial science and the algorithms and climate actuarial science um, which i didn't even know was a thing until just now so so you're always learning um but thank you for that uh, it's a relatively recent field of actuarial science so yeah yeah well what that proves is you can learn something new every day because like i said i had no idea so so thank you for that um so that is our executive officers. Uh, the SGA is divided into two component pieces. We have the executive officers, president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. Uh, but we also uh, have the other half of the organization, which is known as the senator uh, position. And so today we have two senators that are with us, and we want to make sure that we give them some shine. So uh, Angel, are, are you with us right now? Yep. All right, Angel, go ahead and talk to the people. Let them know about you and all of the wonderful things you plan on doing. All right. Well, hey everyone, my name is Angelica. Um, I go by Angel. Um, I am a human services major. I'm a third year student continuing. Um, my goals for the semester trying to get all A's, at least in all my classes, so I can transfer to uh, Syracuse University. So hopefully I'll do good this semester. And Syracuse University is dope. Um, and, and so I think the, the point that I wanna make there is that uh, a lot of times uh, students come into CUNY and see CUNY as the only path. So, you know, Gutman CUNY, and then one of the senior CUNY colleges, Baruch, Hunter, John Jay, uh, CCNY, Lehman. But the reality is you can, you can use this as a launch pad to any of the colleges in, in the United States and, and potentially internationally. Uh, you just got to have your grades in order and your, your resume tight. Uh, so that when the time comes for you to make those decisions, uh, you can apply comfortable uh, in the knowledge that you're going to be able to, to make it to, to that place. Um, so thank you for, for sharing that with us. Uh, no problem. And uh, last but certainly not least is uh, Shania. You still with us with your coffee? <laughs> yes. <laughs> there she is. All right. Shania, same thing. Tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, all of the good stuff. Okay. So my name is Shania. Shania, um, I am a senator, a part of SGA. I'm also a first year peer mentor. So if you need any help, you know, I'm here to help in any way. Uh, what else? I major in liberal arts. I plan on continuing my work as a filmmaker. And um, I'm from Corona, Queens. Corona, get it, Queens. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and yeah, really my goal as a senator, as a student, as a peer mentor is really to help you guys during this first year and 
continuing because me coming to Gutman, I, I got so much help and so much comfort. Similar to what Jay was saying, um, I was like, you know what, I'm fresh start, not, no friends, you know what, I'm just going to focus, right? And especially not be late, all right? And Gutman changed that through Summer Bridge, through my first year. I was given so much help, but so much acceptance, you know? It, it wasn't really like, oh, you know, Shun you away. Everybody was so open and friendly. And so that's what I plan on. Even though we're not there physically, I really want to um, emphasize how important I, I want you guys to have that safe space. And I want to help you guys create what you guys want to do your path, whatever that is. And tell you guys, no matter what, we're here, you know, we're here to help. We're here to talk. There's no judgment. And yeah, so um, sorry, that was a lot. But uh, yeah, so and my goals are get A's, you know, get A's, and uh, and also continue to grow as a person and as a student and as a as an active learner because we're always learning. So um, yeah, and not fall victim to Netflix and focus. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh. Loving, loving, loving the energy, Shania. Thank you. And, and uh, you make, listen, you make a great point about uh, the, the pitfalls that potentially await us as we operate uh, in a virtual environment. If you have a browser open, the potential to click that link and open up uh, the, the, the deep hole that is the internet is always there, you know, whether that's Netflix, whether that's, uh, you know, office, <laughs> the, the office, or uh, yeah. that's, uh, you know, For websites. Me, like, oh, friends. like, oh my God. Yeah. You know, yeah. TikTok, the Snapchat, the Facebook, the Instagrams. The, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. All of those things. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we want to do at this point is um, open up. The conversation to to our student community and so uh, as people have been doing uh, and putting questions or, or thoughts into the chat what we want to do is you know I'm looking at the list of participants and we have uh, we still have Brady we have Coral um, we have Morgan um, but you know we also have members of the SG what what are the things that that we think students are worried about what are the things that are presently we feel need to be paid attention to where where is the student mindset at what kind of uh thoughts um about a, a virtual remote year about engagement that's going to happen through a computer screen in a in a little box um all of that stuff um, you know, it's real easy to, to click on Netflix and Hulu and, and HBO Max and all that kind of stuff, but that's not necessarily going to help you pass your classes. Um, what we want to know is what do you think is going to help you pass your classes? Do you think meeting with us in this kind of environment is going to help you pass your classes? Um, you know, have, have you visited the, the, the Gutman web pages and did a little surfing to find out about all of the places that we have things for you all? Um, that's what's important. So, so let's let's have that conversation, and and any one of the members of the SGA can can chime in with some advices or some thoughts. Uh, but certainly, our student guests, you know, we definitely want to hear from you uh, in terms of what what you think this year is going to be like, and, and what you're hoping can happen. Um, and then if nobody jumps in, I got to keep talking, and I don't think anybody wants to hear me keep talking. So let's uh, let's let's allow the SGA to take over. So uh, you know, Jerain, Miguel, Renan, Naomi, Shania, Angel, uh, even Latoya. What do y'all got for us? For the students that are in right now, how was Summer Bridge? Did you guys? How was how was that? Where, where are you guys in Summer Bridge? <laughs> and if they're here, they should have been in Summer Bridge. So that's that's uh, unless they're continuing students, they could be a continuing student. 
Uh, you know what? So you're right. I am you're so right. right. <laughs> you're right. So, all right. But, I, you know, I want to say uh, uh, Brady uh, and Morgan look new to me. I know Coral was here last year, so so she did Summer Bridge a year ago with this group. Um, but yeah, somebody answered the question. And guys, I, I know you guys don't really have to speak on the microphone. Don't feel like you're forced to. We have a perfectly great chat box, but your feedback definitely will help us this year in what you guys want from us. So please don't feel nervous. We're all a little nervous sometimes, but just be loosey goosey, you know. Um, but if anything, something that I'm expecting this year is uh, I feel like when we first came into social distancing, um, it was a really awkward transition. Um, everyone did their best to make sure that we all were accommodated for, but I don't know, I just felt like it was really hard to keep the morale up. And while we did have a lot of events and everything like that, um, it just felt a little different. So my hopes for this year, like I said before, is that we can create a more tight-knit community like we did when we were actually in the college. Um, I wanna make sure that you students feel, the new well, incoming students and continuing students feel like, you know, like they never left the school, like they're still there. And so that's one of my goals for this year, like I said before. So, yeah, I think that's a really good. So Morgan said, Morgan said, Summer Bridge was a good way to meet people and a great way to get uh get to start getting back to learning. I completely agree with that. Any of the other SGA members want to add on? Yes, I remember my first Summer Bridge, and it's so funny because. The summer, that summer bridge, it first helped me learn it more into like Gutman and the classes. But I really got to experience New York in a different way. We got to um, look at Harlem and create our own stories from traveling in East Harlem with our group members. And it, I, I was like, oh my God, it was my first time really doing something on my own. And, you know, in, after high school, whatever. And and I re and I got to form great relationships and memories that with people at, at Gutman. So I was that was, was a great experience. My summer bridge was weird, and I'll explain why. Nobody in my um, cohort or anything was weird. They were all actually really great. Um, it was weird for two reasons. There was a like a little. I heard this one person whispering like, "Oh, like do you think she's an undercover police officer?" Because I had the dog, so nobody knew why I had the dog. So it was like this thought like, "Oh, is she like?" It's a, it's a drug sniffing dog and she's like undercover and I'm like, what is going on? But other than that, um, I didn't really talk during my center bridge. I had that mental, I still had like that mindset of like, oh, I'm just here to learn. And I was just observing everybody. And I feel like, uh, one, it's a little bit creepy for me to say out loud, but no, I was just like watching everybody in class, like how they like talk to each other and like, and I could tell like, okay, these two knew each other before um, Gutman, these two just met. Like, it was just this thing, and I'm like, wow, like, this is so cool. And then that's when I started, like, branching out a little bit. Um, I can be shy when it comes to, like, oh, make friends, but, like, I'm usually, but, like, if someone comes up to me and talks to me, I'm just like, oh, hi, like, I'll be, like, really friendly about it. So, I don't know, that's how my summer bridge went. Otherwise, it was really fun. I had, I had a great time doing all the, like, the stuff that um, they had assigned us. I think it was fun. Well, for my summer bridge, ooh, that was like three years ago. He came into the school, uh, Gutman, in 2017. Um, I have like a very f vaguely mem memories of it. So um, I was shy at the start of summer bridge. So when I like continued going into like just went in through the days, uh, I started to like open myself up and make friends. Some people just come up to me and just start talking. Or just saying hi, whatever. So, but the funny part is, um, at the commencement, um, I was part of House Three Cohort Three, so. 
when we did like this cheering contest or something, my cohort won that contest because like it was just how it was just funny just ah! all reacted to it. So yeah, but summer bridge was fun for me. So. Yeah, and I'll 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 chime in that um, <laughs> the summer bridge program is is a really good way to find out exactly what is the year supposed to be like, and in a in a normal year, you'd be on campus, you'd be in the classroom, and then you'd be going out into New York City. This year, you're going into all of these virtual spaces. Um, and it's it's good prep at least for how we anticipate the year to go, but it's also asking you to be very cognizant of how you set up your online calendar so that you're not in front of your computer for 12 to 15 hours straight without taking a break. Uh, for a, a generation that came up on computers and on you know laptops and tablets and cell phones, that's a little bit different than when I came up. This was still a, a novel concept, but you are basically walking around with your phone attached to the end of your hand 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, but your engagement with that stuff typically has been, I want to go find things through my, uh, through my phone. Now we're telling you everything that you need to, to do is going to come to you through your phone potentially or your tablet or laptop. And so that changes the dynamic of I want to go versus I have to go. And so we are fearful, and at least I know I am, that we're going to create all of these virtual spaces and then students are not going to show up because they're going to think, I don't want to be in front of the computer again. Uh, but the hope is that things like SGA Live make it fun for you to be here. Um, and to that end, I want to kind of give people a, a, bit, a quick preview of what to expect. So if the members of SGA could kind of share with us what your – SGA live show is going to be about, and if you remember the date, uh, that would be awesome for you to share. Sorry, I was checking to see if I was still muted. Um, I don't remember my date. I know it's coming up, but my SGA live is going to be specifically on scholarships. Um, I, I love scholarships. I call it free money, uh, free birthday money, because I think that's what it is. You don't have to pay it back. There's no interest. The government can't yell at you for it unless you like forge a check or do something stupid like that. But I like them. But the thing is, not many people apply to them. And if you do apply, everyone kind of says consensually the same thing. You know, you don't, you pick the biggest moments of your life, but certain big moments of life are very similar to maybe other people's, for example, like moving states or um, like divorce and stuff. Things, things like that um, are things that like a lot of people have in common, which are great for, oh, my phone, which are great for those types of things. But when it comes to wanting to convince a person, hey, give me money, uh, you kind of want to like, there's certain like tactics that I use that I definitely recommend to the people. So that's what my um, segment is going to be on. Scholarships, which scholarships are available for different types of students, scholarships the school has available. Um, how to write a great uh, essay, depending on what prompt they give you, things like that. So that's basically what my segment is going to be on, which I definitely recommend everyone going to, um, especially during now, because everyone's kind of tight on money, reasonably so. So I think this would be a great um, chance to kind of get that money and not worry as much. So, yeah. It'll be helpful if you go in order. So, uh, Jerain will be first, then Miguel, then Renan, then Naomi, uh, then Angel, and then Shania. Okay, I got it. So, uh, my, SDA live, my SDA live will be Dominican History with Miguel, and it will be on, on October 13th at 11.30. So, basically, what I'm going to talk about is... Uh, Anything that um, from the Dominican Republic, the history, uh, what kind of people, the, our race, um, in culture, music, feel free to jump to, 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 
So get in and if you have any questions, you'll ask me. Sorry. All right, I guess I'll go now. Sorry. Uh, my topic is going to be cheap eat, um, cheap healthy meals on a yeah healthy meals on a budget. Sorry. Uh, that's that's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm I'm gonna try and show you guys how to do it. it. Like if someone might not be might not have uh as much of a palate as like I might expect, then I'll try to make it pretty easy. Like I'll try to frame it in a pretty easy way and show like how certain dishes can be really easily cooked and like how to not be wasteful. Because I know a bunch of things that can be used for stock. That is all that's always thrown away and it's kind of frustrating. Uh, and some other tips like um, I know specifically there's a lot of spices in people's pantry that they don't know can be made into really good curry for a few like if they put in a few seconds of work. Uh, just general tips and strategies that I would use uh, for cooking and try and bridge that into healthy meals. But, Oh, we're not you're done? <laughs> okay, great. Um, so my SGA Live is gonna be about anime and video games. Uh, it was really hard to think of. And so some of the things that I'd be covering is like upcoming animes, anime classics or video game classics. For instance, I have a PS5. Uh, so, you know, I love playing all PlayStation games. Um, so, but we won't just, you know, but uh, be specific on just one console. We'll talk about everything. Um, if there's anything specific that you want to talk about in anime or video games, feel free to drop it in the the chat, or you know, you can always email me. Let me know what you want to see. Our uh, SGA page. I'll also be updating it there to give you guys feedback on what you want to see. Um, let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, and my SGA live will be sometime in October, I believe, or November. Um, but I hope to see you all there and I hope to get some really great, uh, content for you all to watch. So really excited. I'm sorry. I said PlayStation five. I'm at PlayStation four. Ooh, too excited for the new console. <laughs> oh, but you could talk about the new consoles too. That'll, that'll be Yeah, nice. we could. It's coming out this year.